Yeah. Soon as I land, gotta get me a toolie. They catch me slipping, I swear he gon' do me. I double back, drop him down with the Uzi. I put him to sleep, he wake up in the ghoulie. Homie, I see him in back of the tunnel. They camp and they shoot and watch out for the funnel. I'm out of ammo, they got me pinned down. My brody gon' flank you and brody gon' slug you. What's going on, y'all? It's Matt Wolf. I'm back with a banger. So, this is the unboxing video, man. Shout out to Wolf Hat. Wolf Hat going crazy. Appreciate the support. We growing. Let's keep locking in, man. Appreciate the support for real, 100%. So, Sorry for the teaser yesterday, so today's gonna be the official unboxing video of my new pickup. Come check it out. Let's see what it is, alright? So we're gonna we're gonna take a look real quick. Alright, so this is what it is. Woo! Yes, sir. First of all, let's talk about the box, alright? So this is actually oh, you'll see. So this case comes with wheels and everything. This was included with the shotgun. It's a shotgun, black AC shotgun. Look at that. The Pro Series um, semi-automatic shotgun. It came with an actual case, nice sturdy case, and it's crazy for the price, like this price point. Let's take a look at what we get in the box. Oh my God! Wow! Sheesh! Black Aces Tactical Pro Series X shotgun. This is a semi-automatic joint. It's the official unboxing. Let's take a look, man. So this shotgun, semi-automatic shotgun, it comes with the regular shotgun stock. Also comes with a folding adjustable stock. So it has the cheek risers. It folds in half, everything. It comes with regular mag tube, regular size barrel. We got the long barrel right here. We also got two different uh, mag extensions. This is a plus three, I think. Plus three or plus two. This is a plus six. So you can get ten rounds in it. Comes with four round uh, mag tube in there. So you can go from four to six to ten. <laughs> All together, it comes with the choke. Extra chokes. And the choke key or choke wrench, whatever you call it. Uh, comes with the pistol grip. And also, if you're uh, extending a magazine, it comes with springs for the mags, the mag tube, so it's under tension. Let's take a look at this thing, man. We're going to open it up, take a look. All right, so we got the shotgun. First, we want to make sure it's clear. Yeah, nine and two. This camera really played too much. You can't even see in there. Racking it, she's empty. So, to get it to lock back, so it's not locking back, you go on the left side. See this little tab? That drops the shell carrier down. So now you pull it and it locks. So this is a shoddy right here. See it's clear? This camera really plays too much for real. But um yeah. So we got the front sight. Decent front sight. Let me take a look. That's decent. We got the red ghost ring sight. Comes with a pick rail on top, pick rail on bottom. You can attach good stuff. We got the charging handle, uh, bolt release right here, and the trigger and safety right here. So yeah, so right off the box, it feels good. The weight, the weight of the shotgun is nice. It's not too heavy. Feels good to shoulder. I was honestly gonna put the pistol grip on it, but after feeling it, it feels more natural with this, especially to like manipulate this stuff. I think a pistol grip might feel weird on it, so yeah, it comes with that. Folding stock. This actually feels nice. Nice and sturdy. Good rubber padding on it. Yeah, that feels amazing. The rubber padding on this feels amazing too. Nice and soft. Um, let me take a look. Let me feel this trigger. Weapon's clearly empty. So, put it off safe. Trigger feels good. Feels good. Trigger feels good. Feels good. I like the sights. The sights are really high up. So I can't even like, you know how you get a regular shotgun, you point it and you, your eyes are just on sight? The ghost ring size is actually a little up, so I'm going to have to work on that. It's a little tall. 
Maybe put an optic on it. So the handguard feels good. It has finger grooves on it. it. Feels like stippling in it. It feels good. It feels nice and grippy. It's not slippery. Even this too. It has a good grip. I feel like if it's wet, my hands are wet, I'll still grip onto it properly. Feels good for the weight, man. So what my thought process behind buying this was I already have a pump shotgun. I've had plenty of pump shotguns. At work we carry an 870. Uh, Remington 870 riot shotgun, so it's a nice short pump shotgun. I was so used to pump shotguns. I've never really been into semi-automatic shotgun guns, semi-automatic shotgun guns, semi-automatic shotgun guns. Wait a minute. Into semi-automatic shotguns because of price. These things are usually expensive as hell, so black aces. Changed the game, man. They changed the game. They made it affordable for everyone. Um, the, if you go on the Black Aces website, it's going to say that this costs $649 for the whole combo kit. Palmetto State Armor is doing a sale. I don't know if it's ended. It was for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. It might still be on. This shotgun was $349. Shipped it to my FFL, the good folks at Hibbert Armory, and it was good to go. So for $349, I got a shotgun with different lamps, barrel lamps, different mag lamps, uh, collapsible stock. Different chokes, pistol grip, everything. I got a complete package for $349. That is that that is not a regular that that is an amazing deal. I've never even heard of a deal like that. I seen it, had to buy it. Cause I've been iron for a while, but when I seen it at that price, I'm like, oh yeah, we cashing out. So I'm actually excited to put rounds down down range, man. You got the sling points right here, and one here, another one down here. The trigger feels good. The weight is, is nice too. This thing is nice. I got some dummies somewhere. Let me. So I got some 12 gauge dummies right here. Some snaps. Jeez, this camera really played too much. So I got some snap cap 12 gauge. I'm gonna see how it cycles, see how it feels. Give you guys a proper unboxing, proper review. Now I'm gonna be taking this out to the range and testing it fully, fully. Might throw some dirt on it. Who knows? We're gonna we're gonna give it a nice good test. So, to see if it holds up, and I'll give you guys my final review. I just want to see how it feels loading up and everything. So, take the shot. Feels alright. Red, you dead. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, I put a inert in there, and it's stuck. So I don't know if the shotgun doesn't like my dummies. Yeah, you see, show was not ejecting. I've seen mixed reviews online, but yeah, it's not coming out. And I'm not no weakling either, I'm yanking this pretty hard. And trigger's been engaged. There it is. Look at that. My next shell is not feeding. I don't know if you can see that. It's stuck in a ramp. It's in there. It's not feeding. I'm afraid to touch it and it shoots back on me. Like in the tube. Yep. See? As soon as I touch it, the boat went forward. So look, it's still in there. Didn't feed. I don't know if it's these dummy rounds, but we're going to see. So as soon as I touch it, it'll slam the boat. <laughs> I don't know. So... It's not looking too good on my dummy test. We're gonna see though. I'll take it to the range, take it out, 
and hopefully it does well. So I see you boys and girls at the at the range. I see you wolves at the range, man. Stay dangerous. Yeah. Soon as I land, gotta get me a toolie. They catch me slipping, I swear you gon' do me. I double back, drop him down with the Uzi. I put him to sleep, he wake up in a ghoulie. Homie, I see him in back of the tunnel. They camping and shooting, watch out for the funnel. I'm out of ammo, they got me pinned down. My brody gon' flank you, and brody gon' slug you. Picked up a random.